Davy, a huge three points for us this afternoon in dramatic fashion at the end. You must be absolutely ecstatic with that. How do you reflect on that one? I just think it's a huge three points. It's a huge three points. Dave came with a start there. I think he was actually doing it. He wind me up when I was going to speak to the media. The last four games were beat Hibs, December onwards, four different managers. We've had four victories. I think for a club our size, and I mean that in respectfully to Livingston, but for a club our fans to do that to a big club, they're a big club in Scotland. I think it's a phenomenal achievement. It's a phenomenal achievement from everybody connected to the club. You must be absolutely delighted with the, the performance of the team. Nubly leading the line well. Jason Holt was the, the sponsor's man of the match. You know, you've got Kelly at the end with a fantastic ball and, and Obelai to win it. You know, what what a way to win it as well, because it was a, a game, you know, we just spoke off camera that a game that had it all really. Uh, no, definitely. Um, we were talking about, I can't remember what game we were talking about, somebody scored late on and there was a wee bit of a debate, but it's hard not to react like that when you've put so much into a game. Like, I don't decry if the opponent's done it, like the way that our bench reacts, you can't help it, you do, your, your emotions are running really high and it was just, I, I'd rather win it 2-0, I'd rather win it a quite easy game of football 2-0, but um, the way to win the game, it's a wee bit special at the end of the day, but I thought, there was a fantastic atmosphere within the stadium and the Hibs fans played a huge part in that today as well. But our fans, like, for what we've got in this stadium, I don't know what it was the other day, 1,200, whatever it was, the thing is if there's 3,000, 4,000 in the stadium at times, they're brilliant, it's absolutely brilliant. So they're, <laughs> they're like the 12th man, so to speak. But I thought, I thought today, I thought we deserved the three points. I think, I spoke about it a wee bit earlier with you, I think we had the better controlled entries into the opponent's box. I think the limited aim to just long balls into our back box from free kicks, corner kicks and throw-ins. And for me, that's no typical way what you normally get from a high Berlin team, but we limited them to that. I think the game plan was very good. The boys' shape within the game plan was very good. And the one thing you'll get for every single Livingston player when they cross that white line, and staff, although we don't cross the white line or come out of the tunnel, is effort. I think the boys were brilliant. The boys were brilliant, but defensively, Callum, bar the one we probably dropped too early, um, I thought the boys were brilliant. There was a, a slight bit of needle in the game, particularly second half as well, a few yellow cards um, you know, on the, in the dugout as well, um, uh, some potential red cards as well. Does that kind of make it a little bit sweeter, you know, when, when you've got that bit of needle largey bargey in the game? Probably, probably, but then your emotions are running high and it leaves you maybe in making rash decisions, sometimes I've got to get better at it, I know I've got to get better at it, but I think as a Scottish manager, like a Scottish manager, that I'm meaning in Scottish stadiums, the passion that comes for the stands is just, it would be hard to remain emotionless, calm and calculated, like, I find it difficult, the fans are going, I'm going, my staff are going, the players are going, but for me that's football, that's why I love football, but there's times I wish, Dave, you need to calm down, you need to calm down, but I've then I'm calm and I've got Marvin nearly behind me going mental, so I'm away again. Um, but I oh, can't remember the question, Carl. That will do. Just just sort of sort of looking at the the winner as well. Obviously, you know Joe was was brilliant, took his goal well, but you know the the balling from Sean Kelly's brilliant and, and the header from Obelai and, and you mentioned there was, there was absolute scenes in the, the stands as well. I think Sean Kelly's got the second best left foot of this football club behind myself, obviously. <laughs> Um, nah, but see, see, Sean Kelly's left foot's brilliant, honestly, his culture. You normally find that with left footers, to be fair. We Penrice is very, very similar. Uh, Christian Montano's no too bad, as we've seen last week. But you normally see that with a left footer, it's a wee bit more cultured. I thought the ball in was brilliant, but Big Isle's desire to go and get the end of it, and he puts it um, down into an area that uh, Marshall can't get to. I'm delighted for him, do you know that? Absolutely delighted. I think Big Isle's came back this pre-season. And I've been really impressed with him. And it's my job to make sure he keeps giving us these performances because I think there's three or four, potentially a wee bit more than that, if I'm fair, that are on that part that have got, that have got bigger and better things ahead of them, i.e. in terms of maybe getting that move. Joel Nubley, for talking to you, even wee Brucey when he's on the park. Um, there's a few of them. I don't want to start trying to sell all my players in one go. But um, I thought Joel was brilliant today. Do you know what I really liked about today's performance? The boys who went on really, really fitted into the style of play. They picked up the game plan early doors and they stuck to their task. But one of the most pleasing aspects for me was seeing me Brucey and Joel in the park at the same time. And as a coach, as a manager, 
that's something I've been working on, I've been thinking on behind the scenes. A lot of people are probably thinking, how's Brucey, how's Joel? But it only probably suits certain certain opponents and certain times in the game that you can do that. There's no many teams these days that will go and play with two strikers up top because, in my opinion, it leads you to playing long ball football. The big one, the wee one, the flicking, that kind of thing. But the day we Brucey dropped in and Kenny, Newell or Henderson, whoever it was, Joel led the line and I think the two of them complimented each other quite well. And we Brucey was a wee bit unlucky with one of the touches late on, this, um, late on in the game. I'd have been loved it if he'd got on the end of that and scored his goal. But um, now nah, it was a pleasing aspect for me, but I just think I've got to give massive credit to the players. I think since the Rangers game, really, since the Rangers game, they've been different class, they've been top class. And the boys in the squad have had a wee word with them as well. It's their job now to push these players to keep them going and uh, make sure they get their opportunities, because they will get their opportunities, Callum. We're in a wee bit of honeymoon period at the start of the season with us. Touch with there's not a lot of injuries, there's not a lot of suspensions type things, but all that changes very, very quickly as we've seen at the, uh, the cup section last year. But really, really pleased with the boys, the staff. I think the staff probably go a wee bit unnoticed at times. The staff I've got at the club are phenomenal, absolutely brilliant, and they push the boys every day. And we're all here to make the players better, and I think you can see there's a huge buy in at the club from the players. I genuinely believe. If we keep our uh, foot to the floor and we're bang at it, we're not going to come out in the right end of every performance, of course or not. But I think if we keep doing the basics really, really well and sticking to the game plan and playing the way we've been playing, I think we could have a really successful season.